Welcome to the College Investor Audio Show, where we talk about the biggest issues impacting millennial money, from student loan debt to side hustles to building wealth. We will show you how to get out of debt so that you can build real wealth for the future. Oh, if only taxes could be simpler. You know, was it always this complicated? Well, no. Today we're going to talk about something that's been in political debates before. Um, that's actually a bill that's been floating around in the House of Representatives for a while. It is called the flat tax. What is the flat tax, you ask? Let's get right to it. Thanks so much for joining us on the College Investor Audio Show today. Flat tax systems are systems that require all taxpayers to pay the same tax rate, regardless of their income. For example, a tax rate of 10% would mean that an individual earning $30,000 would pay $3,000 in taxes. An individual earning $1 million would pay $100,000 in taxes per year. While a flat tax is just a concept in the U.S., adopting it would dramatically simplify tax filing. In fact, most people could file their taxes with a piece of notebook paper and a cell phone calculator. That is no joke! Here's what you should know about flat taxes before your next chat with your nerdy economics friend. <laughs> we all have one of those, right? So what is the flat tax? A flat tax rate refers to any tax where all tax rates are the same. Technically, a sales tax could qualify as a flat tax because everyone pays the same rate on the products they consume. But when policymakers talk about flat taxes, they aren't thinking about sales or property taxes. They are actually usually thinking of a flat income tax. The most influential flat tax system was developed by Robert Hall and Alvin Robushka back in 1985. Robushka! I love that name. Under this scheme, all household income would be taxed at a flat rate with some allowances, or deductions, for family size. Subsequent versions of this system have been considered as the basis for sweeping tax policy changes in the United States. Most recently... The bill H.R. 25 was presented to the U.S. House of Representatives. The bill aimed to create a single tax that would be used to fund all aspects of the federal government. The flat tax would replace the existing tax structure and would represent the biggest landmark change to taxation since the introduction of the federal income tax in 1913. Despite some enthusiasm from tax policy centers and neoclassical economists and your nerdy friend, the flat tax hasn't been met with much enthusiasm in the U.S. Although the allowances for family size and necessary consumption would technically reduce the flat tax to kind of a fair tax, it seems likely that overall tax rates would increase for lower, middle, and middle-income citizens. Conversely, tax rates would likely fall for those at the top of the income spectrum. This perceived unfairness makes a flat tax less politically palatable even if overall tax revenues increased. Do we have any flat taxes in the U.S.? Hmm. The federal tax system in the United States is considered progressive. That means the more money you earn, the higher rate you'll pay. We go into details of all the different tax brackets in the U.S. at thecollegeinvestor.com if you'd like to see those brackets. Of course, there are deductions and credits in different forms of taxation depending on how you earn your income. That muddies the waters a bit when trying to say just how progressive the tax system is. Again, like I said earlier, it's complicated. Nonetheless, there are notions of flat taxes in the U.S., believe it or not. The employment taxes, Social Security, and Medicare taxes are the closest thing we have to a flat tax on a federal level. Every employee pays 7.65% of their income towards these taxes. Their employer kicks in another 7.65%. This leads to something close to a flat tax of 15.3% on all wage income. However, earnings above $137,700 aren't taxed. Because the tax isn't applied equally to all earnings, the Social Security tax is technically regressive. Lower income earners are taxed at a higher rate than higher income earners. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> Additionally, many U.S. states have a flat income tax. These states allow for deductions based on family size, but apply a flat tax ranging from 3.07% to 5.25% on all earnings above the deductible threshold. Here are some pros and cons of a flat tax. The flat tax system is a very interesting concept. 
Although it's unlikely to be passed into law at a federal level, the system has both advantages and disadvantages. Here are some pros. Ease of collecting taxes. Wow, the IRS code is complex, to say the least. A flat tax would dramatically simplify both the business and individual law codes. Reduces weird incentives. Very weird. Individuals and business owners often face odd incentives about how to claim income in the U.S. A simplified law would reduce or even eliminate those odd incentives when every dollar you earn is taxed the same. No money requires special treatment. It is much easier to balance a budget. The flat tax makes it easier to predict short- and long-term budgetary inflows. When Congress knows how much money it will take in, they can more easily manage a balanced budget in the long run. No disincentives to work. So one of the criticisms of the current social safety net and income tax structure in the U.S. is that it provides a disincentive to work after a certain point. The government-provided benefits fall off a benefits cliff, if you will, while the tax rate goes up. The result makes it difficult to escape from a working poor lifestyle. Ideally, a flat tax would fix those disincentives and make each dollar earned worth the same as the previous. That means people with opportunities to work more would take up those opportunities. Of course, that would require fixing both the tax code and the social programs. Might be worth it, though, huh? <laughs> Here are the cons of a flat tax system. Raises tax rates for lower, middle, and middle-class people. The flat tax system would almost certainly raise taxes for lower, middle, and middle-class individuals without providing them with additional benefits. Have to keep that in mind. Tax rates may fluctuate over time. Of course, a flat tax sounds like a panacea for knowing what your taxes will be. However, Budgetary shortfalls may push tax rates up over time. If the tax rate becomes high enough, incentives to leave the United States to avoid taxation could present themselves. And now, you can have an intelligent conversation with your nerdy economist friend. Woohoo! Where's my pocket protector? Anyway, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this show today as we talk about the tax code and all the different tax review softwares and everything. Just a little bit of a change of pace and a different perspective on what our United States tax system really looks like. Will it flat tax ever be passed? Who knows? If you share this podcast enough and enough people get educated, maybe, but maybe not. <laughs> Whatever, it's up to you. That's the beauty of democracy. But in the meantime, if you want to find out about different tax software to help you navigate the muddy, murky, complex waters of our current tax system, check out thecollegeinvestor.com. We have all kinds of goodies there for you. Thanks again for stopping by, and we'll talk to you again very soon.